losing the plot with their tot. But you know, we don't all you know, I'm not having ten babies at one time and just having all pots. I have, I you know, I age groups. We okay. have age groups. You know? All right. The reason we're here is to, is to, is to, hear, is to hear exactly that kind of feedback. I mean, I, I, before the question was asked, is it the Marty, they're going to want more swing. Right. All right. So that was, I just want to be sure right. I understand. But she has first, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. First, more tot mm -hmm. swings, then right. more older kids swing. Right. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, we, I, I think it's the water in the old section where Seaver Park is located because we just had one couple had triplets December 24th and another couple had twins at the same hospital. So, and they're all from down here. So they're going to look for swings for the kids, more than two. Yeah, she can't even put her triplets in. <laughs> You can't, you can't right now. It's a brand new capital project. You can't touch something that's recently built until it's lived its life. It's five to ten years, depending. You can't do anything with that right now, but certainly in the future we could look at that. Well, if there is a phase three, you know, water is beautiful. I, I mean, it is. It's beautiful. But we got to think realistically, too, you know. Yeah for the children down here. I mean, yeah. the climbing thing, that's great. Snake Park is awesome. It sort of reminds me of that. The kids, I bring my kids there, they, they ask to go there. That whole climbing thing reminds me of that. That's a great thing. Yeah, I know, I know the kids like the swings. I, yeah. At least I hope that but they this like will that give climbing them more thing options too. That's to, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would. do like that. Because there's nothing here that that exists now that I don't kids like can sand. climb on and things like that. Is there really any way nuts. of turning that sandbox into like a marble thing? You know, like maybe having somebody come with like you know, like, you know the marble? Oh, I know what you're looking for. You know, like, to make it around? I mean, really, none of us let our kids in that sandbox. And there's no yeah, sand in it anyway. Yeah, no. Well, they get into a water table. If they're making a water table, it's not sand, but that'd be a water table. Let's get to the water. Let's get back down to Diane. I'm sorry. Diane, you want to be the sand. Sorry. Paul, you were told it was a tough audience. It's not so much it's a tough audience. Here's a lady who takes care of maybe five or ten children all the time, to and from school. These young ladies all have children. We love communities so that care. They, they know we love this. We'd rather have a hundred questions about what we should have, could have done than people that don't want to have us come down to a meeting. This is, this is good for us. But tonight we're going to put to rest the business about vandalism. On one note, we in the community are pissed off at it, all right? And that's what it takes. It takes us to make that stop, and we're going to make it stop. We're not going to make it stop, well, even if it's a rest. Only recently, two kids walked up to me. They're like feral cats. Now they're starting to say hello. They're starting to talk. And they said, we each got a ticket the other night for being in the park. What is the cutoff time for this park? Some parts are dust. Well, parts are, if they're not if they're not posted, we have signs that are posted. Like a typical play, playground will be dust. We can make those hours specific: seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, if it's not posted by city law, it's one a.m. But if it's posted, it'll be whatever the sign the says. That's on the vandalism is going on during the day. Will this it's probably be going on in the middle of the night. When they're playing back. It has a it's a four it's a four foot steel picket <coughs> fence like the fence that's there. It's, it's, it's so the, the intention of the there. fence is so kids don't go running out into traffic. It's a fence that even a guy like me could climb over. Um, you know, it's a deterrent, but it doesn't prevent you from from doing so. So no, what I, let me let me just follow up on that question. I know that the reason the question was asked is that some people have commented, well, there ought to be a fence so we can lock the park up at night and keep and the benches safe. Now, in your experience, will that deter someone who wants to come in and do it? If, if, if somebody's on crack or somebody's determined to do vandalism, they're going to get through. We don't like to see, like, cagey parks. You don't want to have a 12-foot fence in a beautiful park like this. But it does help you enforce. A 4-foot fence around, I mean, we, we have the staff to open it in the morning. We don't have the staff to lock it at night. You can't, you know, you can't have somebody staying that long. You don't, you don't have that kind of uh, people here. But, um, you know, we don't mind it being locked. If there's a community group or the police or whatever that can lock it, we can certainly open it in the morning. Um, it'll deter, but it won't stop someone. You can get over a four-foot fence. And the alternative to that is it being a cage, you know, and, and that's not really the kind of park that folks like to see. Yes. Yeah.
Um, but in all due respect, if this is a toddler park, then it should close at dusk. And if there's someone there to run the comfort station and it's going to close at a certain time, when they close that comfort station, they should be able to lock the park. The park the same yeah, I, I don't have a manager here right now. I couldn't tell you what the what the hours are of the specific park, but it would be posted, and I can put you in touch with with Alex uh, pretty easily. Alex Mezzatesta is the local manager, and I think, in fairness, I mean, what we'll what we'll endeavor to do is we'll try to staff the comfort station. Obviously, in the summertime, we'll try to staff at longer hours. In the winter time, it doesn't need to be as open as long. But you know, there are there are kids that play baseball and so on and so forth, the skate park and so on. It'll be open when it's staffed, the comfort station, and it'll be closed when it's not staffed. That's for sure. I don't know if I can make the same guarantee for people. And and, and when uh, you know when we have the comfort station, we can revisit the issue of whether or not parks can work with a community group to open and close uh, the gate. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, so, John, can I make a suggestion? From working with this park issue with benches, and the place that they didn't remove the benches from was the place where there weren't the interlocking blocks. The reason those benches were able to be removed was in the section where they could rock those benches enough because the bolts did not penetrate completely to the concrete. It allowed room. So my yeah. suggestion would be. In the spots where you're going to put benches down, put a concrete Bad, block. Yeah. In that one spot, you could put the paving blocks around it. That's, that, that's, got, that's going to happen in the spring. As okay. soon as there is good weather, um, you, know, <coughs> you, you, you put the benches in and you, you don't put them in, you know, planning on vandalism. No, uh, so. The benches were, were removed, they, they were vandalized and so on. We are going to repair them when the weather's nice enough to, to put some concrete footings in. We intend to do that. Okay. So and also in this new section, the, new section, the expansion, the expansion <coughs> might detail the bolts go right into the concrete right base. The concrete, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, we're all in agreement. They shouldn't be doing it regardless. Right. But, yes. sure. uh, what you want to well, well, learn. Yes. We need to have okay. a meeting. Sorry. Right. Go right ahead. Have well, if you have anything else? Anybody else? Thank, thank you folks for carrying it off.